and number 66, Wang Shen. The assistant coach is Mr. Lin Pei Chen, and the head coach is Mr. Liu Meng Chu. For the Manila Stars, all the way from the Philippines. Number two, Carly Lastimosa. Number three, Marvin Hayes. Number zero, Kian Lloyd Abrigo. Number five, Arvi Bring us. Number 11, Mark Montilla. Number 14, John Lopez. Number 16, Jolo Go. Number 21, Mark Dyett. Number 30, McLean Sabalina. Number 32, Joel Wright. Number 57, Aris Junicio. And number 88, Joseph Eriobu. Their team manager is Mr. Joey Simanes. Team manager, Roman Ang. Head coach, Ariel Vanguardia. Assistant coach, Justino Pinat. Assistant coach, Ado Salazar. Team owner, Raymond Ang. And trainer, Mark Silva. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for both teams. The Manila Stars and the Chinsin University of Science and Technology from Chinese Taipei. And our referees for this game is Mr. Nelson Chan, Jackie Chong, and Tan Chin Siong. And our game commissioner, the one and only, Mr. Vedagiri Muragaya. National Basketball Championship live right here in Malacca, a town two hours away from Kuala Lumpur for those of you who are new to Malaysia. Welcome to all our fans and viewers from the Philippines. Kumusta? Maganda ang Pilipinas. Salamat. Mabuti. That's what I always say to my friends from the Philippines, whether you're in Pampanga, Clark, Curzon City, Manila, Bulacan. All over Philippines. Philippines is such a beautiful place. We love it. And Filipino celebrities are bigger than a lot of other celebrities in this part of the world. You know, Jericho Rosales, John Lloyd Cruz, Derek Ramsey, and 
Mr. Joel Wright getting the, the Stars team underway, getting a score from the layup right there. This is a great shooting team. This Chensin University team of science and technology. Another good 4 0 run right here by the Stars. If they win this game, they have a very, very good chance of being champions tomorrow night. Oh. The referee giving the player from the Stars a warning. Stopping the clock right here. Jensen, great shooting team. They like to shoot the light side. There it is. And that is Lin Ching Chi. Up. Oh, tried to punch it. Good transition. It's going to be a, hopefully a good close game. Both teams undefeated thus far in this tournament. Plenty of a depth and experience in this Manila Stars team. Especially Joel Wright, Joel Wright, Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright can make a wrong. What a move! Oh, smart! He couldn't finish it. Took it a bit lightly when going up in the air. Great catch, kick out, long three, way off. Bullet pass there. Open, looking for the open looks to shoot, to knock it down! Knock it down from downtown! Ting, Kwang, Hao! The Science and Tech boys with the lead. Manila, Joel Wright, skip pass. Tap by Smart. Good move. Here they come in transition. They're so good in transition, especially down the middle. From the wing, pull up. Oh! Another big shot. This time by Jian Ting Chow. Exciting. A steal. They've got the numbers, though. From the wing again. Back to back. Yes! Jian Ting Chow. Showing us how it's done. Timeout call by Justino Peanut and Ariel Banguardia. What a hot start by Jensen University of Science and Technology from Chinese Taipei. Shooting it hot from downtown. Hot start here by Chien Sin. The star has got off to a good start with Joel, Joel Wright with a layup and then another basket, but then step up three point three pointer. A number of trays hit by Chien Sin. Right. And one. Great response here from the stars. And he convert the three-point play, the man who played for the D-League Select Team 2016. He's from Brooklyn, New York. 
such a great player. 29 years of age. Oh, got a piece of that. Oh. I'm sure there'll be a lot of fans from the Philippines tuning in right now. A lot of Filipino pride. Trying to look for the open looks, right for the long three. Ambitious shot, came off. Came off Marvin Hayes. They're gonna try to do some traps here, Manila. Good move. Oh, good one, smart, he was, he saw right in front of him, smart, smart! Beats right, over right, right where we would have had some wounded pride there. Well done, Brandon Smart, the man from the Caribbean. Let's hope this is gonna be hammer and tong basketball. Deflection. Oh, they keep it in. Well done. Smart. Oh. A bit rushed and hustled there. Too much hustle there. But it's okay. Still a very open game right here. Early days yet. The first time out was called by the Stars because the Chiensin, the Chiensin University team were hot from the arc, outside the arc. For the three. Oh, they respond with a three of their own. Great shot right there by Joe Logo. Euro step. And it looked like a clean rejection, in my opinion. Oh no, the Philippines bench is loud. And they're very passionate players, the Philippines. And this will be Ting Wang Hao. And if Chen Sin University want to win this game, they have to be perfect with their free throws and their shots because they're not a big group taking on guys like, you know. Marvin Hayes and Joel Wright and McLean Sabalina and also Joseph Eriyobu big big guys you know like solid bigs which the team the science and tech boys don't have right cross court pass almost a steal pull up oh another big three from the stars but this time it's Carlo Lastimosa gotta love that name smart he's not really a shooter so that wasn't a smart shot right great run right here by Manila Stars they're making it a one-point ball game well done smart with the screen pull up right here Shots not going down. That's what I said. They need to be perfect. Take some good, clean shots. Open looks is okay to get there. Quick team. Hayes. Misses that by quite a bit. There it is. Open look. Can they punish? Yes, that's it. There it is right there. That's their strength. Get their shooters hot. Yeah. Yeah. Sweat with the three kick out right it's the tin good smart will have to protect the rim he's their rim protector he's their only big their solid muscly big that is they got a one or two other guys who are tall but very lanky and very low skin fold oh almost in and out Four-point ball game. This is exciting. 
Oh, four minutes to go from the corner. Yes, knocks it down. Now, the, the backcourt players of the Stars are getting into it, shooting-wise. What a big shot by Joe Logo. He's hit a number of, a couple of trays already. He's the top scorer at the moment. It, he can hit some shots, Joe Wright, keep penetrating. Because, in my opinion, the Stars can't give the Chien Sin boys or shooters too many open looks. They've got the that shooting bug skill to punish them. There's the open look. Good defense and one. Courage. Courageous you are. Courageous he is off the glass and absorbs the contact. Yes, win. Can he convert the three point play right here? Coach Justino Peanut marching up and down the sideline. Three point play it is. They lead by four. And also, Yaswen, number 10, a little bit injured at the moment. He goes to the bench. If you're a good shooting team, you've got to play solid defense as well. Good pass off the glass. Well done to Gian Abrigo. Oh, there's some contact right there. And Ivory bring ass just knocking Brandon Smart a bit. There's a technical foul. And already. Technical foul. They know how to play this game, the boys from Manila. We've got so much talent and depth in their system. They're basketball proud. They hate losing basketball games, especially in Malaysia. They are the defending SEA Games champions and they are the favorites to repeat on home court in December this year. Such a talented team. Jimmy Alapag was their assistant coach. Will he be the next Gilas coach? Right kicks out. Try right from the corner. Can he punish? Yes! Nothing but net for Joel Wright. Manila with the lead. 24-22. For the second time in this game, it's going to be physical out there. Really, really physical. No love loss between these two teams. Both teams don't want to experience their first loss of the tournament. He bricks that shot right there. Huang Hao. Oh, breaks both. That was one of those shots would have made it super, super close. Hayes, no, sorry, Hayes is off court. Pull up. Oh, great, great shot right there. Their, their shooters are really stepping up right here. Get the stop. They, can they capitalize? Can't keep it in. 
The man with the basket there earlier. It was Mark Dyke. Manila Stars up by four. Handoff, or well, thought about the handoff. Referee Nelson says saying foul. And Manila in the penalty. 16 fouls already. Now they've got to make these shots count. Shenzhen University. There's a good crowd from the Philippines here this evening in Malacca. Mohan, one of their bigger bigs. Ooh, there's a lot of physicality out there, a lot of contact. Screaming from Coach Ariel and Coach Justino Peanut. The one two combination of the West Post Malaysia Dragons once upon a time. That's right. Coach Ariel knows Malaysian basketball really, really well. Big shot. Oh, couldn't go down. Lost the ball, but regained it back. No. Nope. Huh. Lucky did. There. Open look. Pull up. Oh, shot's not going down. Who can get it? Fake. Kick out. Swing. Mismatch right there. Need a screen to get some separation. Got to watch the shot clock. Gotta put it up now. Oh. This is what Manila want. Pressure defense. Turnover. That's it. Look at this. They're just looking for the three point opportunity. It's not going down at the moment. Drives. There it is. Manila with some breathing space. Abrigo has played a pivotal part in Manila's surge to the front. It should and one. He gets the hoop and the harm. What a strong, strong move there by Joseph Eriobu. Timeout call, Shenzhen University of Science and Technology.
Joseph Ediobu, a solid athlete, six foot three, very versatile player. Can play in several positions. Eight point ball game. The Stars playing good two way basketball. Good pressure. Good pressure defense right here. Looking for the three. Oh, good. I, like I said, that was excellent defense by Manila. Coach Ariel quite happy with what he's seen thus far. Here come Manila. Oh, steal. Oh, turns it over. Passing to Cheng En. And that is the end of the first quarter. A big shout out to all the viewers and fans from Shenzhen University of Science and Technology Ni Hao in Chinese Taipei. Hope you're enjoying the live coverage on the Malacca Basketball Association live stream on Facebook. The game between their team, the Shenzhen University team of science and technology versus the very talented Manila Stars. So Manila, the favorites for this game, but everybody has been so impressed by Chen Xian. Not the biggest team, but a very quick athletic team with some great shooters. Didn't shoot so well at the end of the first quarter. Drives! Brandon Smart trying to go for the tip in. We've got some stats coming in right now. Joel Wright with 10 points, three assists, three rebounds. He's the leading scorer in this team. The leading scorer for the Shenzhen University team is their number 10, Xie Yasuen, with six points and one rebound, one assist. Good pressure, but physicality right there. Bit too much on that one by Brandon Smart, and he knows it too. That wasn't very smart. Eddie Obu has been shooting pretty well from the free throw line. This shot in the first quarter Joseph Ariobu Eddie Obu in the turn shot turnovers uh, haunting the Chinsen University team late 
in the first quarter, early in the second. They seem a bit nervous because they're relying on one skill set basically to get some production, which is to shoot. Honestly speaking, that's a very Malaysian mentality. Joel Wright from the elbow for the deuce. Crossover, kick out. Looking for an opportunity to shoot. Smart, Brandon Smart. He will go to the charity stripe for two shots. Smart with three points. An 11 point lead for Manila. Right. Ediobu. They're shooting quite well. Smart. The neutrals here. I don't know which team they're cheering for, but. It's a good loud crowd right here in Malacca. Smart. Smart. Kick out. Good pressure right there. Like a three second call. Man, you don't want to light him up. He's a great shooter. Joe Logo. What a great name. I would love to have a name like that. Right asking for the ball. Smart trying to stay with him defensively. Right. Spin right. Oh, what a block by Smart. A good hustle here by Chinsin. Travel. Been unlucky right there. Well done, Smart. He's got your number, Joel. Athletic and strong. And Brandon Smart studying foreign languages at the at the University Science and Technology University team that he plays for. That'd be a very handy skill to have to speak Mandarin. That'd be. Oh, good shot right there. I told you you don't want to line him up. Joe Logo, he's on the go. He's putting some distance between his team, the Manila team, who are playing like stars, and the Science and Tech boys from Chinese Taipei, who turns it over once again. They had five turnovers in the first quarter. tell you we don't have live stream for this one but we'll tell you shortly when we get the stats right kicks out lastimosa crossover Ediobu. oh these guys can't do anything wrong they are playing like monsters Scary stuff. Oh, that's the shot that Chinsen needed. They need more of that. Gotta play defense now. Right, right. Eddie Obu. Smart. Tried to get a handle on that. And that was very much needed. Big shot right there. Need more of that and need a couple of stops, this Shenzhen University team. The Science and Tech boys, as I like to call them. Oh! It's getting physical out there. What's going on? Yen Ting, number seven, colliding with a player. I don't think it was intentional.
referee will say foul committed by one of the Chien Sin players. Just over six minutes to go before half time. Let's hope. I mean, I know the Philippines fans will be saying they want they want a blowout victory, but we want a close game. We're the neutrals here. Posting up. Right. Oh, good physicality out there as a battle. Right. Posting up. Spin. Turn around. Two from the baseline. Joel Wright. He's had a very good tournament. Oh, steal. Eddie Obu. Great pass. What great team basketball. And Adis Genicio with the basket. Pushing foul. Coach Justino Peanut not happy. An 18 point lead for Manila. They're just hitting shots, they're getting stops. Whereas Chen Sien, no disrespect, looking a bit predictable. Shirt pull by Joel Wright on Brandon Smart. Hand off, good defense, good pressure defense. That's what's winning them the game. Drives the lane, yes, splits that Manila defense. Like a can open with a can opener. Kao Cheng in. Couldn't respond with a tray. Cheng in. Good pass, bit heavy, too much on that one. Manila, Joel. Oh, I thought Joel had a case that came off Brandon Smart. But you know, they're playing with a great swagger with them at the moment. There it is right there. They're playing with a great swagger about them, the Manila team, full of confidence. They've got that ego, and I mean that in a good way. You need that ego to win. Actually, but not really, really nice bunch of guys. I've spoken to some of them. Really, really friendly chaps. Most people are from that part of the world is very friendly off court. But when it comes to on court, they don't take any, any lip. Here they come. Is this the turning point that Chin Sin tried to reel their way back into this game? Still got a lot of work that needs to be done. Lopez, good cut. All right, with the putback. Lastimosa couldn't finish right there, but right picking up the trash. Ooh, couldn't too much on that one. Too much fancy moves. Right lost the ball. They, this is this is a great attitude by the Manila team. They're showing they really really want it. Screen, lost the ball, but got the ball back. Long three, smart with the rebound. Four minutes to go. Pull up from the baseline, off the glass. Smart, smart move. And this is good by Chin Sen. They're just playing smart basketball, chipping away at it. If they can get a couple of stops, they can kind of stay competitive. Their, their focus now is to stay competitive and not let Manila run away with it. Tap, need numbers. Drives the lane with the Euro step. Oh, what a move right there by Kao Cheng N. That's bringing it to life right here in Malacca. A 12 point game, timeout call.
back in the swing of things before half time. Good run here put together by Chien Sin. But do not underestimate this Manila team. They'll just hit you with a punch, a money Pacquiao punch. But they still got the ball. Brandon Smart professing what's going on, but just move on and listen to the refs. You don't want to get teed up. I say that all the time in all the games I commentate. The Malaysian refs especially, no lip. Smart, good rebound. The rim protector. He's gonna stay back. But his shooters need some separation, open those handoff. Oh, good steal, but they got the ball back. Jensen screened by Smart. Gotta watch the shot clock. Fake. For the runner. Oh, fake. Such a strong, combative play right there by Liu Yen Ting. It's getting exciting, everyone. Look at that rim. That rim has seen a lot of ball. The Filipino fans trying to throw Yenting off his shooting game. And it's working. Yenting needs to make one shot. You never know. Can they their shooting bud come back? It's slowly coming back. Will that come back to Horn? This Chen Sin University team of science and technology, those two missed free throws. Manila, offensive foul. Interesting call by the ref. Joel Wright, gotta be careful. They don't take sarcasm very well either, the referees. the perimeter look at that defense by Manila quick close out defense lost the ball right here he goes drives and the basket scored right there by Lastimosa 14 point game they need a big shot right here good screen smart smart alley -oop. oh it came off the pick and roll screen. That's pick and roll action at its best. Right there. Floats it from the baseline. Jensen got to put their hands up and play two-way basketball. Manila, they've got to do it too. Long three. Almost had it. Right. Will he fly? Almost in for the dunk. And he will go to the charity stripe. Ching Chi. We wanted to see a slam dunk, and this crowd loves a slam dunk because in Malaysia, in this part of the world, slam dunks, well, they're not frequent, let's just say it, put it that way. needed Ching Chi double C good player but just lacks the size and the muscle to take on the bigger teams but don't forget it's 
Some of these guys are quite young. Some of them, anyway. But quite an experienced team as well. Right on the perimeter. Falling for the ball outside the arc. Right, right. Oh, and it counts. Brandon Smart thought he was in the legal guarding position. Fifty three point three seconds left before half time. Basically halfway through the first quarter. Manila really took control. Converts the three point play right. Go right. Good trip. Good press there. A very good press. That's where they're bringing out all the P's, Manila. Pressure. Press and power as well right oh and shooting finesse sf they're doing everything right at the moment led by joel right no pun intended the science and tech boys smart lost the handle oh great ball control deflection Let's hold it up. Let's take the last shot of the quarter. That's what Manila is saying. Crossover. Dribbling between the legs earlier. Fake kick out. Up. That will be the end of the second quarter. Half time right here. And it is Manila who will lead by 18 points, 58 to 40 over the Chensin University
munching, shake it, munch it. You got a monster crunch it, shake it, monster munch it. Yo, you got a munch it, shake it, munch it. You got it, kid. <laughs> Mommy.
way to enjoy Mommy Monster Snack. You got to crunch it, shake it, munch it. Crunch it, shake it, munch it. You got a monster crunch it, shake it, monster munch it. Yo, you got to crunch it, shake it, munch it. You got it, kid. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, underway right here in the third quarter, right with the shot, misses that. But it came off a science and technology player. 18 points down the Shenzhen University team, but it is not impossible for them to go on a run and trim the lead down. They got to play two way basketball, right? Marvin Hayes there foul allegedly pushing foul the pass spin travel travel ball will go against Marvin Hayes What about the catch and shoot? Smart. Oh, he, that was a foul committed by Marvin Hayes. Brandon Smart. 50-50 from the charity strike this whole week, in my opinion. Fifty percent today. Scored five points and grabbed six rebounds in the first half. But committed three turnovers, so two out of two. Just keep chipping away at it. Science and Tech boys. And try to stop the Manila Hammer. From one stars. Calling for a horn set. Good pass, Hayes! Great pass, great handle. Great ball handling skills by Hayes to handle it and put it up and in. Basket is good. Back to an 18 point lead for the Stars. Screen set there by Smart. Long three. That was a foul. Committed by Manila. They didn't think so, but nobody ever thinks so when, once they come in the foul, to be very, very fair. Trying to shoot their way back into this from the charity stripe. Jian Ting Chao. Had a pretty good tournament. 
10 points. Now 12. Only one rebound on. Need to play some defense. The signs from Tech guys. Lastimosa. Gotta watch that shot clock as well. This is better pressure defense by Shenzhen. Right. Tap. I think I got the ball back. Lastimosa. The man from Cagayan de Oro. Oh, great ball control right there. This it needs to go down. No, oh, that would have brought the house down. Try not to foul. Drives the lane. Lastimosa, right, step back. Oh, ball rims out. Bodies flying everywhere. It is hammer and tong right here in Malacca. Let's look at that again. And Abrigo tussling for it. Referees watch it, switching the basketball. Respect the basketball. So much perspiration. A bit slippery. Bit of a slow start in this third quarter. Not electric like it was in the second in the second quarter. From the baseline, tried to work glass. Leak out there by Joel Wright. Lastimosa! Wright couldn't finish it. There it is. Lastimosa just went flying in from the baseline. Good defense here. How many times have I said that about Manila? Drives the lane. Up. Oh! So, so strong. Such an... That's entertaining. Lost for words at the moment. Well done. Ting Chao. Philippines fans in the stadium not happy. Joel Wright or Joel Wright telling off Gian Abrigo. You didn't have to do that. But what about the shot? There's good pressure defense by Manila. Especially on the perimeter. Oh, great. Great cut. Cut unchecked into the lane. That was smart. Good run here by the Science and Tech boys. Screen by, said there by Marvin Hayes. He's getting into the paint. Lastimosa. Lastimosa with a one handed shot. Right. Right. Great pass to Hayes. He puts it up and in. Basket is good. So, I know the scoreboard isn't a reflection of the game. It's so great to watch. Smart with the put, but no, tried for the put back. Too much on that. Hey, I'm sorry, not Hayes. Right. No. Oh, the steal. No. Hayes sticks his tongue out. Na 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 na. <laughs> Childhood memories. Crossover. Tried to sell that. In your face defense. Trying to close him down. Manila. There's a superstar. Spin up. Smart tried to go for the tip in. Pushing foul, two shots, smart. Needs to maximize this opportunity from the charity stripe. If they can get within 10 points of Manila, there's, a, there's an outside chance. 
they can really, really go for it. But they've got to put the simple shots away. And full credit to Manila for putting the Science and Tech boys under tremendous pressure. One out of two in, in those two shots for Brandon Smart. The Caribbean man, right, trying to spin. He's not foul. He's frustrated that he's not foul. Pull up. Need a three-point shot. Need two three-point shots, to be honest, for the Science and Tech boys to go for that run that I was talking about earlier. Lastimosa, crossover. Lastimosa, good pass. Right, the simple basket. What a weapon to have, Wright and Hayes, two bigs. And then you got also Eddie Obu. They're not giving the Science and Tech boys an opportunity, limited opportunity, space and opportunity to shoot. Referee telling Joel Wright to back off and not get in his face. In the penalty, six team fouls. Back to an 18 point lead for Manila. So what a two for Brandon Smart. Brandon Smart to the bench, needs a bit of R&R. &R. He's hustling and pushing hard. Not a young team, this Shenzhen University team. A lot of them are in their 30s. Early 30s, that is. Oh! Joel Wright shows us how it's done. Crossover, drives the lane up and in. Puts it up and in. Basket is good. Gets the hoop and the harm. He's played so well this week. Played in the PBA. He's played in Malaysia for the Dragons once upon a time. Almost a steal right there from the wing. They're rushing their three-point shots. The Shenzhen University team. There's almost a steal right there by Shenzhen's Liu Yenting. Inbound, right, posting up. Referee said continuation, double team right there. Try to go for the no look pass. Joe Logo. Man, 20 point ball game. Doesn't feel like it. Feels like probably a 15, 14 point ball game. They, these teams are training baskets, but it is the middle of the team with a good lead from the elbow. See, that, that's the difference between Manila and the tech, science and tech boys. Manila team are hitting their shots, and they've got scoring options as well. Guys who can penetrate, if you look at the stats, points in the paint, Manila 26 in the first half, 10 points scored in the paint by the team from Chinese Taipei. And that's just because of their bigs, you know, Eddie Obu, Joel Wright, Marvin Hayes. I mean, big solid guys. And this Chen Sin team don't pack that kind of muscle. Shots not going down. Four finishing at the cup. Not through a lack of effort and trying. Tried to stay on balance. Eddie Ogu. 
Four points in the first half. Two assists, two rebounds. This Manila Stars team plays in the MPBL, a league owned by Manny Pacquiao. The great boxer, the great athlete of Manila. Put back. Sloppy and lazy. I don't say lazy, sloppy. I'll take that back when rebounding. Drives. Still can't hit a shot. Can't make a shot at the moment. That's they're struggling offensively. Defensively, they're trying, but they're being overpowered at the moment by this big, strong Manila team. It's looking like a blowout victory, maybe on the cards. I'm not going to give my prediction just yet. Anything can happen. Right. Oh, there's a turnover right there. That's a rarity. That looks like a travel. Step back three. In and out. Just the pressure getting to this science and tech team what a block right there what a very very good block up no nope. rejection what a move by Aris Junicio Aris Junicio I apologize if I accidentally mispronounced the names been working very hard with Filipino names to try to pronounce it the way that it is in the Philippines culture. A great culture it is. Eddie Obu, spin, and one! Contact, and the basket. He's playing well in this quarter, Joseph Eddie Obu. And Armanilla running away with it the fans who are cheering for Chensin University are frustrated that sh they're not frustrated that they're losing they're frustrated that shots are not going down 90 seconds to go before the end of the third period smart smart off the glass still can't go in that's why you hear the fans frustration That's the frustration all around. And the Stars will take on the Malacca, the host, tomorrow. And they will not have the services of Goodman, the Malacca team. RV bring us big fella big player not a bad shooter too that's not blessed with pace but nobody's perfect big strong player though good press trying to press here a little bit up no too fancy too much entertainment, not simple enough to make the two-point shot. The size and power was has been a bit too much for the Chinese Taipei team. 55 seconds to go before the end of this period. Mark Dyke, we've had a few fans on our Facebook tonight, the Malacca Basketball Association Facebook. Say some comments about Dyke. Extending that lead, look at this, almost a 30-point ball game, can you believe that? 
We didn't expect this. Fifty seconds to go. Chinese Taipei desperately just need one basket to lift their confidence. Drives from the corner. Yeah, they need some tall timbers to get them a rebound. Great composure and skill and no tap. There it is. Simplicity is genius, they say. From the wing, just didn't really aim that one. Got the ball up. And in, that's it. Finally, a basket scored. I can't remember when's the last time they scored. That's by Wang Shen Lin. And that's the end of the third period. A very dominating quarter. A dominant quarter, shall I say, by the Manila Stars. Let's have a look at the highlights right here. Start of the fourth quarter and just want to give a big shout out to all our fans on Facebook. Lin Chen, Holly Rome, Vition, I think is how you pronounce your name. Prince Kari Politan. Lin Chen, Edmund Jr. Shout out to Edwin, shout out to Edwin Lead, William Chang, Ung Isaac, Jericho Cordero. Those are the names that I see on Facebook at the moment. Big shout out to all of you. Kumusta? And ni hao to all our friends from overseas. Nothing but net. Friends from Chinese Taipei. But nothing but net right there. Amazing stuff. This is going to be quite the blowout. And some stats to share with you right here. That... Darius or Brendan Smart fouled out. Sorry, almost fouled out. He's got one more foul and will be fouled out. And then one player who has fouled out is Ming Yu Chen. But 
Cheng Ming Yu, sorry, my fault. Chen Ming Yu. The name on the stats written a bit differently to how their names are. So, 14 personal fouls versus 17 personal fouls in the first three quarters. 17 committed by the Stars, the Manila Stars from the Philippines. Turnover and turnovers. The Chinese Taipei team surprisingly only had 15 turnovers after three quarters. And I'm not sure these stats are correct. 17 turnovers by the Stars didn't make sense, but a lot of turnovers happened in the third quarter. So we're doing the mathematics. Quite a bit of turnovers in the third quarter by the Chinese Taipei team. Philippines just punching away. At it. It's like Mani Pacquiao. Just, you know, just whatever the opponent, Mani Pacquiao's opponent does, he just keeps coming back at them and bashing them and smashing them and punching them. That's a bit better. Good shot there by Lin Shifeng. But they need a lot of that. A lot, a lot of that. They just need a bundle of stops. Do they have the mentality to persevere and push? They're down by over 30 points. Is there limited offense, if you ask me? And that sometimes that's just the way it goes. Size, they say size is important in sport. I beg to differ. You got, I mean, you always want big athletes in your team, regardless of the sport. Tall, athletic guys who can run, who can jump, physical. Because sometimes you need to win ugly, but there's nothing ugly about this potential victory for the Manila Stars. They shot well, they've got great depth. You know, they've got big guys who can box out and crash the boards. And let's look at that rebound stat. Can you believe it? Well, it's not that hard to believe that the Manila Stars out-rebounded the Shenzhen University team of science and technology. 47 rebounds to 27 in the first three quarters. They scored 44 points in the paint, the Manila Stars, compared to Chen Sin 16 and that's because of size and strength obviously technical finesse is a big thing and this Manila team had a lot more technical finesse know how to play the game both ends of the floor they've got the tools and the skill set but you need the big bodies fake pull up oh no a fake pull up guess his own miss from the wing there's the pull up right there So my summary of this, if I had to write a report of this game, my executive summary, too big, too strong. And finish well, made their shots. But that term, finishing well, means yeah, you hit your shots, took it to the rim, took it to the cup, penetrated well. And, pray, and, and take nothing away from Manila's defense. Great closeout pressure, physical defense. Air ball. All his teammates now, the Manila Stars teammates having a laugh at the big man, RV Bringas. 32 points in front with five minutes to go. That's got to get you smiling if you're a Manila player. That's a bit better in shades in this fourth quarter. Shenzhen University are showing their all their, their all selves of shooting well and attacking well. Ting Huang Hao. They played well this week. The Shenzhen University team didn't lose a game. It was quite calm and composed when they were playing Jilin University. And they were down in the first quarter. Oh, no defense. Are the stars lighting up? and showing a humane side. A 
I mean, the Philippines and China. And, you know, I, I mean, even though this is a Chinese Taipei team, two countries that everybody wants to emulate Asia in Asia, the, in the Asia Pacific wise, or three countries, uh, yeah, two countries in the traditional Asia Pacific wise, the Philippines and China. Rush shot again. That's the summary of their offense today. Rush shots, drive, and with the finger roll, Ting Kuang Hao. This fourth quarter has sailed through. And Joel Wright, who's not even on the floor, double-double already, 27 points, 10 rebounds, five assists. If he was on the court, he'd probably get a triple-double. But Coach Ariel and Coach Justino Pinat trying to give all his players as much game time as possible. Cross-court pass. Pull up. Yes! Where was that earlier? Well, no pressure now. Gao Ching Wei. He couldn't get his way, or his team couldn't get their way in this game. Foul on the floor. Contact right there. He didn't like that. Because he was, was contact to the head. McLean Sabalina. Fade away. Off to try to work glass. Cholo go. So tomorrow night, everyone, is the last day of this wonderful competition. All good things must come to an end. And Malaka will take on, the host will take on Manila. Coach Go Cheng Huat against Coach Ariel Van Guardia. Two guys who used to coach with each other on the same coaching staff at the West Ports Malaysia Dragons. Coach Go Cheng Huat was the first coach of the Dragons in season 2009, 10 years ago. And then Ariel took over and Coach Go Cheng Huat came back many times as an assistant, as a consultant, as an assistant coach. So, Coach Go Cheng Huan, he's a legend in Malaysia. Coach the SEA Games team in 2017. And in fact, when Philippines played Malaysia, Kobe Paras was in that team in the Philippines in, in, at Maba Stadium two years ago when Malaysia won, well, Malaysia hosted it and Philippines won the gold medal. Christian Stan Hardinger was in that team as well. I think the score here was quite similar. Philippines won by almost 30 points. It was quite close in the first half. The first quarter, Malaysia led, but in the second half, the Philippines really showed how good they really are. And everyone thought the game with Thailand and Indonesia would have, could have been closer, but Philippines played a great tournament. Bobby Ray Parks Jr. in that Philippines team as well. So, Aliyup, yes, great pass. Let's look at that again. A pass right there by Ting Kuang Hao to the flying, flying big man right there. The flying. Wuhan. Just taking their time. Manila. They know they've got this. Ball rims out. Trying to make the scoreboard respectable as possible from the three point line. Yeah. And they're coming alive a little bit too late. A basket right there by Gao Qingwei. One of the star performers of this team, not just tonight, but this week. 19 points. I think that Jensen will be happy if they can make this a 10 to 12 point ball game. Oh, but not with shots like that. Well done, Joe Logo. 
Good hustle. Foot on the line. Joel Wright should get another player of the game perform award performance. That will be posted on the Malacca Basketball Association Facebook. A foul right there. 41.7 seconds to go, or 40 seconds on our TV clock. From the reverse, yes! Well done, Manila. Montilia with the reverse basket there earlier. Pull up. Nope. Just hold it. And that should be the ball game. Manila Stars stay undefeated in this competition. And one more game. And you would say they can they can smell not just They've got the victory, but they can smell the trophy tomorrow night. Well done to Coach Ariel, Justino Peanut, and his coaching staff. A great performance. 100 points they scored a century. And Shenzhen University of Science and Technology, 76. The final game of today, of day four of competition of the 2019 Mummy Cup Malacca International Basketball Championship right here in Malacca. To all our viewers and fans in the Philippines, Kumusta, have a great night, Slamat.